Hello hello, this Man United inside again on it, welcome back. David De Gea appears to launch dig at Roy Keane with comment on Bruno Fernandes' Instagram. David De Gea appeared to take aim at Roy Keane for recent comments after Bruno Fernandes' 91st minute winner for Manchester United against Fulham. Manchester United picked up a much-needed win on Saturday afternoon as they narrowly overcame Fulham in their Premier League clash at Craven Cottage. The Red Devils have been very poor in recent times and were looking to get back on track after consecutive 3-0 defeats against Manchester City and Newcastle United. They were far from their best again in West London and it looked as if the game would end in a goalless draw. But their captain, Bruno Fernandes, came to their rescue in the dying embers of the match. The Portuguese midfielder netted a wonderful goal in the 91st minute to give his side the lead. Fulham pushed for an equaliser but they could not the goal they needed as United held. On for all three points. Roy Keane's criticism of Bruno Fernandes after Man United 0-3 Man City while Fernandes is a wonderful player, some high-profile names in the football world have questioned whether he has the qualities needed to be United captain. One pundit that adopts the view is Roy Keane and he slated the 29-year-old after United's loss against City. Speaking on Sky Sports after the game, Keane said, Today having watched him again I would take the captaincy off him 100%. I know it's a big decision, obviously they changed the captaincy with Maguire, but Fernandez is not captain material. He is a talented player no doubt about it. But what I saw today, we've discussed many times before, it was last season at Liverpool, his whinging, his moaning and throwing his arms up in the air constantly. It really isn't acceptable. From what we saw today, I'm thinking I would take that off him. You have to start somewhere. We were talking about where do you start, fixing the problems, the manager, board level. I would start with that because the manager is capable of doing that. Fernandez is a brilliant footballer but in terms of captain material he is the opposite to what I would want in a captain. David De Gea appears to fire shots at Roy Keane after Fulham 0-1 Manchester United. Keane isn't afraid to dig out players at all and another player he has slammed in the past is David De Gea. Keane regularly called out De Gea, currently a free agent, for his performances towards the end of his stint at Man United. De Gea has now appeared to get his own back by firing back at Keane for his comments about Fernandez. Fernandez posted an image on Instagram of him celebrating his winner against Fulham. In reaction to the image, De Gea sarcastically commented, you are not the right captain with a zipper mouth emoji, as if to say he has silenced his critics. View the post below. Ten Hag defends Bruno Fernandez after Fulham 0-1 Manchester United. Eric Ten Hag also hit back at those that claim Fernandez should be stripped of the captaincy after his winner against the Cottagers. Asked what he thinks about pundits saying Fernandez should be stripped of the captaincy, Ten Hag replied, per The Guardian, everyone has their mistakes, no one is perfect. But always when he plays he gives energy. He is an example. You see the way he is pressing and counter-pressing, his recovery. He always wants the ball, he wants to create. In this week we were definitely not happy with our standards. Today we improved a little bit, but to win every game you have to bring that level, show you are hungry and passionate inside. When we bring that we will have very good results. Bruno Fernandes' two decisive touches give Eric Ten Hag a Manchester United lifeline. The glory and the adrenaline of a last-minute winning goal away from home was in keeping with the great traditions of his famous club, but on reflection Eric Ten Hag will know that was just about all from this day that stands comparison with the past of Manchester United. At their lowest ebb, United did at least summon something, a scruffy goal at the end of an inauspicious game. What Bruno Fernandez's winner might signify is hard to say because there have been these putative turning points before, in fact as recently as a month ago against Brentford, but they have tended to be followed by United going back into a dark place. That late win on October 7th at Old Trafford was the start of a mini-revival but was followed by two defeats that threatened to cut the ground out from under Ten Hag's feet. Bearing that in mind it would be hard to argue that a win ground out against a Fulham side who had the better of the second half might be a historic turning point in the life of the club, but for Ten Hag hope springs eternal. He invoked the spirit of the Brentford win again on this occasion. Now we see it again, the United manager said, it is a good dressing room. 
they fight for each other. They know what the standards are at Manchester United. You have to win every game and they know they have to do it together and this attitude you need to play at this club. Certainly there was much reason for United's players to be discouraged by the end. They had relied upon two excellent saves from Andre Onana when Fulham threatened most. Rasmus Hodgland had been substituted without a chance to his name. The winger Antony had gone the same way having failed to beat his fullback Antony Robinson more than once. Harry Maguire seemed distressed by a blow to the head, later denied by United, and he was arguably his team's best. Play error. That was the situation in the 90th minute when, as Marco Silva would later describe it, three to four players made three to four mistakes in 10 seconds and Fernandez buried a right foot shot past Bernd Leno. Relief all round on the United bench, although it felt that this was a United team cobbled together to survive a crisis. Alex Iwobi and Joao Paulhinha had the best of it in midfield, and Fulham just lacked a finisher. That was before one got onto the subject of Marcus Rashford, who watched from behind the benches having been left out the squad. Ten Hag had not mentioned a problem for the player whom he criticized for that post-Manchester City party in his Friday press conference. Post-match he said Rashford had suffered unspecified complaints after training and, having traveled with the squad, was deemed unwell on Saturday morning. What was left after that was not a very convincing United side. It was pieced together from the fit and the loyal and those in the last chance saloon. Johnny Evans and Maguire in the center of defense. Scott McTominay and Christian Eriksen in holding midfield. A dismal first half gave way to something better after the break, although Fulham looked dangerous. There were 18 attempts on goal from the home side over the course of the game. Silva was despondent about the result although unwilling to say that they had got it wrong tactically. The reality is that in those 10 seconds we lost emotional control, he said. The substitutes Facundo Palistri and Anthony Marshall did contribute in some way to the penalty box chaos. Then Fernandez took one touch to send Palhinha and substitute Sasa Lukic the wrong way, and another to score. Fulham's young Brazilian striker Rodrigo Muniz came off in tears in the second half having overextended his leg and, Silva said, feeling a pain in his knee. No news yet on how serious but it was notable that Maguire put a consoling arm around his opponent in that moment. It had been Muniz's shoulder that had slammed into Maguire's face in the first minute of the game. He was checked, United said, for concussion and was passed. On the hour the referee John Brooks told Maguire to go off for what looked like another check but which United insisted was a problem with the defender's hand. The bar Jared Gillett had sent referee Brooks to the screen for a McTominay goal on eight minutes. Maguire had been judged offside as he lunged for a Ericsson free kick that was cut back by Alejandro Garnacho. McTominay finished it off and then came a long and onerous wait for the decision that Maguire had indeed been attempting to affect the game.